Have you at any point pondered whether we're genuinely alone in the universe? Or on the other hand, if there's something else to our reality besides what we see? Imagine a scenario in which the James Webb Telescope at last demonstrates that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we find out more about this earth-shattering news that will make you question all that you thought you had some awareness of the universe. So, what precisely are black holes? They're like something out of a bad dream. Sure, you could have seen them in science fiction movies. In any case, actually, significantly more alarming is that they're not only as indicated by researchers. Totally black holes in space are, in reality, monstrous measures of matter gotten into an unbelievably little region. Consider a star multiple times more gigantic than the sun, all packed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is extreme to the point that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Researchers have been entranced by black holes for a really long time. From that point onward, they considered objects in space so gigantic and thick that they could trap light. The most popular ideas regarding black holes were predicted by Einstein's hypothesis of general relativity. Basically, at the point when a huge star kicks the bucket, it leaves behind a minuscule, thick center. On the off chance that this center's mass is multiple times that of the sun, gravity overpowers everything else, prompting the development of a black hole. Recognizing black holes is no simple task since they radiate no light. However, Researchers have tracked down approaches to construe their presence by noticing their consequences for adjacent matter. For instance, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it'll pull that matter towards it in a cycle called accretion. Furthermore, when a normal star gets excessively close to a black hole, it can get destroyed, discharging X-rays as it does so. Black holes likewise have a huge effect on their environments. They can consume close by stars, produce strong gamma-ray explosions, and even impact the development of new stars in certain areas while slowing down it in others. However, where do black holes come from? Picture this. Stars, once radiant and blasting, meet their definitive end in a terrific blast called a supernova. From the leftovers of these fallen monsters, black holes arise. Most black holes are conceived from enormous stars that have reached their divine retirement party in a supernova impact. More modest stars, when they die, change into something many refer to as neutron stars, which are really thick but not thick enough to trap light. Anyway, on the off chance that a star is multiple times the mass of our sun, it falls under its own gravitational force, framing a black hole. As these powerful stars break down, something unusual happens close to their surfaces. Time itself begins to play stunts. From the point of view of somebody far away, Time seems to dial back close to the event horizon, the final turning point for anything falling into a black hole. It's like the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to our own. Sometimes, when two more modest black holes collide, they consolidate to frame an even greater and more startling black hole. If a black hole collaborates with a neutron star, they make a monster nightmare that resists cognition. Researchers have been wrestling with the size of these infinite peculiarities for a really long time. Black holes come in two sizes, tremendous and small. There's an evil secret encompassing them that we really can't unwind. However, here's the twist. Small is relative with regards to black holes. Stellar mass black holes, leftovers of huge stars, can be as huge as 10 to 20 times the size of the sun. There could be upwards of 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That is a galactic number of black holes that could swallow anything in their way. However, wait, there's something else. Very monstrous black holes are on the opposite end of the range. They're millions, if not billions, of times bigger than the Sun. They exist at the center of enormous galaxies, including our own Milky Way. It's like a vast dead space that is pulling everything towards it. Prestigious physicist Stephen Hawking talked about black holes throughout his life. His addresses were generally adroit. However, some of his hypotheses couldn't be affirmed because of an absence of relevant hardware. Anyway, there's hope not too far down the road. A single scientific instrument is changing all that, and we're not prepared for it. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, otherwise known as JWST, and it's here to dive into the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no normal telescope. It's an engineering wonder, 
a demonstration of the capability of human aspiration. Sure, we've sent off other space telescopes before, and they've been taking care of their jobs fine and dandy, but this bad boy is on a whole other level. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has obediently served us for quite a long time, seem to be a simple bit in the universe. And the sticker price of this cosmic miracle is an incredible $10 billion. Yes, you heard that right. That is an adequate number of zeros to make your head turn. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this wonder to life, along with significant contributions from over 300 universities. Yet we must not forget the gambles that accompany such a fabulous undertaking. I realize this isn't an endeavor for the weak-willed. The JWST is wandering into an unknown area, pushing the limits of what we know and taking us to places we've only longed for. Following a successful launch, NASA has recently reported that the telescope has sufficient fuel to endure more than two times its base mission life. Anticipation of a long time since its launch, the JWST has made numerous mind-boggling accomplishments. It went more than one million miles to reach its orbit around the sun, where it will live permanently. During its journey, the telescope effectively unfurled its huge five-layer sunshield and giant primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, after NASA has adjusted and aligned it, the telescope is practically all set into full activity. One of the most exciting things about the James Webb Space Telescope was when NASA announced it had captured its most memorable pictures of starlight. The primary picture taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, resulting in a match of 18 dispersed brilliant spots from the star's light, captured by the 18 mirror sections situated on the primary mirror. NASA later delivered another better-than-ever picture of HD 8446 in which 18 unfocused duplicates of the star were united in an intentional hexagonal development. Once the observatory effectively adjusts the individual fragments of the primary reflect, it will begin the picture stacking process, welcoming 18 pictures on top of each other into one clear view. Thanks to its refined technology, the JWST will assist researchers with exploring the beginning phases of the universe after the Big Bang. It will concentrate on what worked out after the first stars formed, a period known as the epoch of reionization. This time refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized, or made to have an electric charge again, by radiation from these first stars. This involves thinking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also help researchers find exoplanets which are very challenging to recognize due to the way they interact with their host stars. Its strong sensors will actually be able to notice these planets in more depth, remembering for certain cases imaging their climates. Understanding the climates and development conditions for planets could assist researchers with better predicting whether specific planets are tenable or not. Separated from concentrating on the assembly of galaxies, researchers study worlds to perceive how matter is coordinated on a huge scale. This, in turn, allows us to see how the universe evolved. The winding and circular galaxies we see today developed from various shapes over billions of years. One of JWST's objectives is to think back at the earliest galaxies to better understand that evolution. Researchers are also attempting to sort out how we got the assortment of galaxies that are apparent today and the ongoing ways the galaxies form and collect. However, most critically, the James Webb Space Telescope will assist us with noting the most significant inquiries of all. Are we alone in the universe, and are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has proactively been on the chase, and think about what it found. Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, prowling around those monstrous, very enormous black holes in three dynamic galaxies. These carbon-based particles with ring-like designs resemble the goth of the universe. They're everywhere, from far-off galaxies to comets in our solar system. Now, they're not simply entrancing because they could form blocks of life, but also because they assist astronomers in tracking star development. At the point when ultraviolet radiation hits these PAHs, they go all gaudy and radiate infrared light, a sight that can be distinguished by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, otherwise known as MIRI. And that is normally a sign that there are some hot, young stars hanging around. However, Sit tight for the unexpected development. A brave astrophysicist, Ismael Garcia Bernard from Oxford College, 
chose to take a look at three dynamic galaxies known as NGC 652, NGC 731, the creepily well-known Stefan's Quintet, and NGC 749. These systems are millions of light years away in the depths of darkness. Now, what Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In those focal areas where the black holes rule, he found an abundance of PAHs. Sounds great, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation close to those very monstrous black holes contorted the Pa's actual substance, changing them into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves. The more modest, electrically charged PAHs evaporated into obscurity. Imagine being gobbled up by the darkness itself. However, wait, there's a glint of hope. The larger PAHs figured out how to get by since they tracked down cover inside slender, thick gas-filled mists. It's like they tracked down their own defensive shroud against the horrors of the black hole's wrath. Now, you could ask why this dark twist matters. Well, you see, it's somewhat of a problem for space experts who depend on PAHs to track star formation. Star-forming regions will more often than not be completely energized up with electrically charged PAHs. If those atoms are wrecked close to the black hole centers, tracking where those stars are conceived becomes a real challenge. However, dread not. Our daring space experts aren't withdrawing. Garcia Bernard and the team are wanting to jump significantly deeper into this dark, massive pit. They need to break down additional dynamic galaxies, each with its own twist, to uncover the mysteries of how these extreme PAHs survive in such it. They're on a mission to unwind the particular properties of PAHs prowling inside the black hole-invaded centers of galaxies. And hey, that information is the key to figuring out star formation and how these ghostly worlds develop over time. However, there's one more revelation made by the James Webb Space Telescope that takes the cake. Prepare for some spine-chilling news because the JWST has identified what could be the most ancient black hole in the universe. This vast beast is a very monstrous black hole, weighing a walloping 10 million times more than the sun. The JWST was able to identify it by dissecting faint glimmers of light that date back to the very beginning of time itself. This dim, ominous discovery was found at the core of a child galaxy just 570 million years after the universe was formed. And get this, cosmologists believe that there could be significantly earlier black holes sneaking in the depths of space. It's captivating yet unnerving to think about what other horrors could be lurking out there, waiting to be found. However, one thing is for sure. The James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a brief look into the most obscure corners of the universe, and the things we're finding are completely mind-boggling. The discovery of the oldest black hole in the universe has sent shockwaves through mainstream researchers. This vast beast could simply be one of many black holes that existed during the grandiose dawn a period that began about 100 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was only a billion years old. Cosmologists are confused by the sheer number of these black holes and how they developed to such titanic sizes. Although the specialists who found the most recent black hole published their discoveries on the preprint server AR-14, the research is yet to be peer assessed. Lead study author Rebecca Larson, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas at Austin, believes that there could be many more black holes waiting to be found. She explained that the James Webb Space Telescope is allowing us to study galactic history in a way that was previously unimaginable, and she's excited to see what else we'll find. The James Webb Space Telescope is on a mission to uncover the inconceivable, and who can say for sure what other mind-bowing astronomical shocks await us in the vast expanse of space. The universe is filled with secrets just waiting to be disentangled. Furthermore, with each new discovery, we inch closer to unlocking its dark and surprising mysteries. As we dig deeper into the universe, black holes continue to reveal the total intricacies of our universe. Their formation isn't simply a result of dying stars. They can also emerge from the merging of neutron stars and other compact objects. This transaction of celestial bodies leads to significant phenomena like gravitational waves, ripples in space-time identified by observatories like LIGO. These waves provide insights into the rough processes happening in the universe, including the effects that create black holes. The mission to comprehend black holes also intersects with the search for dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant part of the universe's mass, yet remains imperceptible to current observational techniques. 
Some researchers estimate that primordial black holes formed shortly after the Big Bang could represent dark matter. If true, this association could offer a pathway to unwinding one of the universe's greatest secrets. Besides, the James Webb Space Telescope isn't limited to examining black holes. It has the potential to observe the atmospheres of exoplanets in exceptional detail. By analyzing the light that filters through a planet's atmosphere as it transits in front of its star, researchers can identify chemical signatures that indicate the presence of water, methane, and potentially even signs of life. The JWST's infrared capabilities empower it to look further back in time than ever before, capturing light from the earliest galaxies and stars. This capacity helps scientists figure out galaxy evolution and development, providing a window into the conditions that led to the universe as we know it today. As we continue to push the limits of our knowledge, the interaction between black holes and the structure of the universe remains an enticing mystery. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding the fundamental nature of reality, revealing a universe that is undeniably more complex and interconnected than we ever imagined.